Folks, Saturday night, welcome aboard Murder Hobo Wing. Thanks for joining us tonight. One shot. We're going Tomb Raiding, boys and girls. Should be a great time. Uh, for those of you who are new to the stream, welcome aboard. Those who are returning, thanks for coming back. Don't forget, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap like this sweatshirt, phone case, shower curtain, duvet cover, etc., uh, the link should be down there somewhere. Take a look at that stuff. Most importantly, if you want to be on a one shot or on the Tuesday talk show, not this Tuesday, cause it's already taken hit us up M hobo Inc Twitter or Gmail. Uh, and we will work to get you on there. Now, if you're in the market for dice and who isn't, uh, go ahead and zip on over to Twitter and contact at pirate dog dice. Uh, tell them what you're looking for, see if they can help you out. Maybe they can, maybe they can't. And if your game stinks, unlike ours, because ours smells like success, uh, go on over to oddfishgames.com and find yourself some adventure scents. They come in over 60 different scents to tickle your nose, except for Putrid Sewer. That nearly made uh, Kyle throw up, which is still one of the funniest things we've ever seen. Uh, he didn't die. He just came close. Uh, but 60 different scents, so check them out. They also do something called the Shine System. So if you want to be a writer like me, only gooder, uh, check out their Shine System. Coming soon, their new RPG-based Shine System. Uh, for those of you who backed How to RPG with Your Cat, Thank you. All the domestic packages have gone out and international customers uh, have probably received an email by now. Uh, the shipping rates went up, so you got yourself some options. Uh, folks, as I said, this is a one shot. Uh, it is a tomb delve. That's why there's only two. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce you to the people who are going to uh, make you watch them for the next two hours. We'll start at the bottom with Ian. Ian, who are you and who are you playing? All right, <clears throat> so I will be pulling uh, Olas, uh, a cleric of light, and um, good opportunity to also, as we are starting up, to put in a plug about Murder HoboCon. Uh, if you don't have anything going on, February 12th and 13th, we have a fully online COVID-free con for you to join that does benefit charity. I know I'll personally be running six uh, games, so I'll be uh, fueled by ethanol and caffeine to the maximum. So, um, two-day con. Free con what is that a pants free con i mean possibly <laughs> as long as your camera paint is just like in this zone wear what you want fair enough i won't promise pants for myself <clears throat> and who are you playing tonight uh olis a uh, cleric of light nice uh next up is john john same question different answers Ah, uh, I'm John Lapointe. I will be playing Lucas Lionheart, a noble f human fighter. Very good. Folks, if you saw the introduction, you know that these two are sitting in a bar in Tunis uh, waiting for word. Uh, an individual has come in that they know, and the word is given. A tomb has recently been discovered, but it's the end of the day, and the tomb is not going to be opened till the first light. So... These tomb raiders have an opportunity to maybe uh, do a little grave robbing first. Uh, your associate, Elkin, uh, says there's only a few guards there and you guys are second level. Uh, so you're like ass kickers extraordinaire. Uh, as the bar fills up, you also notice that the workers are coming in and the other uh, patrons in the tavern hear the same thing that you have and... Uh, you guys can both give me insight checks, please. Well, I, I got a, a natural one on that. So four. You are thinking of gold coins being showered and having your toes licked by a harem. Lucas, I, rolled, I rolled a 15. Uh, Lucas, you see at least one person who uh, is kind of scanning the room trying to figure things out it's kind of a burly individual uh the ale is just pouring off his beaded beard individuals in a turban uh kind of looks like he's bald he's got this magnificent beard probably plays as a defensive lineman for the nfl team so that is what you see uh what would you guys like to do now 
Uh, so does it look like from what you were saying that there may be other people competing to get to this tomb before <laughs> us? Uh, you don't know shit about that. <laughs> uh, you know, well, it would be real terrible anybody. if there were lots of undead in this tomb. So, you know, we will definitely be there first to make sure it's safe for other people. So I think everyone should just stay, and this is being very loud, you stay clear uh, before we make sure that it, it's safe. We'll take on the danger. You, uh, Luke, you know, Lionheart and myself will we'll take it on. You have piqued the interest of at least three people. Now is the time to be quiet. Oh, yeah, it's as silent as a church because you guys as just admitted to uh, probably uh, grave robbing. <laughs> silent as a tomb. After a few moments, uh, 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 clinking a glass as everybody goes back to normal, uh, they're just shaking their heads. Uh, give me an insight check, both of you. <laughs> 13. 14. Uh, you guys are looking around and nobody seems to give much credence to you guys, even though you're heroes, uh, you're also kind of full of shit. So, um, you don't get a good read with a 13 and a 14, but it would appear as though nobody seems to give a shit that you guys are going to go clear out undead in an unopened tomb with guards. All of a day's work. Yep. So what do you guys want to do? Uh, well, I think we should check our gear before going in. I think that it would be a great time to load up on some torches and some holy water and some flasks of oil. Okay. So okay. Where can, where can we go in town to buy that stuff? Uh, the temple for the holy water uh torches uh pretty much the open market which would be slim pickings since it's now dark however the moon is high in the sky like a big pizza pie uh and that says you got enough illumination to wander over to the dig site which you guys are familiar with the general area of great should i sideline deduct the cost of oil water or is that a whole montage Money means nothing in one shots, as long as it's not excessive. So I will give you uh, odd even. Odd is one, even is two. That is a four. You get two flasks of holy water. Uh, a piece or just total? To just total. Lucas, you find two torches. All right. Their owner is nowhere to be found. So two torches, two vials of holy water. You're ready for the mummy that ate tunas. All right. Sounds like a plan. I'll gird the loins and get ready to scuttle on over <laughs> to the tomb. Okay. Uh, like I said, it is uh, after dark. It's cold outside because uh, the cold wind blows in off the desert. <sighs> who wants to do the invest? <clears throat> Excuse me. Who wants to do the investigation check to see if you can find the right tomb? Okay. Um, What's your investigation? Well, you know, I am naturally very intelligent, um, and you do it. I will lead this on with my four total. Investigation or total. Uh, I am very confident in selecting the correct tomb. Uh, you guys have found the tomb entrance. Uh, you have not found the tomb guards. How great is this, Lucas? Nothing to interrupt our explorations. Do you want to go in first or shall I? I'm happy to go first. Uh, okay. I will. Go ahead and uh, let's see, since we're starting off, why don't we start off with the torch? Uh, I'll let you carry the torch. I'll go sure. in first. Uh, if we need okay. to burn a spell for it, we can, but um, everything's coming up 
roses. So I'll, okay. I'll, I'll go in first. This tomb right. is protected by a wooden door uh, with a rudimentary chain sliding through it and an even more rudimentary padlock on it. Uh, if it's rudimentary, I think I'll just shove it with my shoulder and break it in. Give me a strength check. Uh, five. It's much more sturdy than expected. Uh, I could I could try to break down the door. I'm I don't gonna... want you to hurt yourself. It's a very sturdy door, Lucas. You <laughs> want ahead, to Lucas. locate something. <laughs> okay, all right. Hold on. Lucas, he rolled a five. I, I think I, I rolled a five as well. <laughs> and then our adventures are just foiled by a flimsy door and a chain. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> All right, uh, back to the end. Yeah. You, you both notice that as you uh, leap uh, and scream for Fessick for help, uh, you're making a lot of racket. Give me a perception check. This is something I should be better at. Okay, hold on. 17. Nat one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You guys are using 20s, right? D20s? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I got 17. 17, 17 oh, okay. is good enough. Uh, you hear movement, some clinking, uh, maybe sounds like guards. Uh, maybe Ooh, uh, 60, 65 feet away from you. Uh, they do not appear to be coming closer, though. Not all at once. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, uh, uh, well, so far, my cleric's been a terrible idiot. Um, I haven't done much better. <laughs> I will, well, I'd say let's give it a shot. Let's, let's uh, see if we can't do this again, Lucas. And if uh, the guards come over, I think I've got an idea. But um, unless you've got like a crowbar or something, I've got a small knife. We could try to pop the. Hold the on. on the no, I do not have a crowbar. Right, I will um, just, I'll hold skip. on. What skill would it be to pick the lock? Uh, you don't have that. You're a fighter. I'm just going to slip this small knife inside the padlock, and I'm going to just rummage it around violently like I've seen thieves do very gracefully. Okay. Sure, give me a straight I will, up D20. I will be fantastic at this. So just straight D20? Yeah. I'll give you a wisdom bonus if you want. No, I actually got a deck in that 20. Of all the oh, things. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, the lock is really flimsy and you're able to pop it successfully. Uh, the chain uh, makes a little bit of noise, uh, but a quick look around. No guard. You should be golden. All right. He's in. still on the torch and you're still going in? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? The door creaks open. You kind of have to give it a shove because sand is built up around this door frame. Uh, and as you walk in, in the dim torchlight, uh, you notice a few strange things. One is an oil lantern, uh, unlit. Uh, two is some digging equipment. Three is a barrel of water, uh, marked water. Uh, and... The interior, give me an insight check, uh, Olas. Seven. Okay. It, it, it's time to raid. Fantastic. Um, well, does the oil lamp look like it was uh, put here by the people excavating, or does it look like it was part of the original tomb design? Uh, keeping in mind that you are now inside this tomb, this oil lamp is completely out of place, okay. but, but not with your insight check. <laughs> Apparently, right. the ancients used oil lanterns. <laughs> then it would be very important to light this before going <clears throat> as religious significance. Sure. Uh, okay. Lucas, I think you should light that lamp. I light the lamp. I have straight a up, tinder box. Straight up D20. Okay. That seems ominous. 11. If it's a one, he catches on fire. Eleven, the uh, light springs from your tinder, lights the oil lamp, and the entire tomb is just covered in yellowish illumination. Uh, cool. Multicolored statues, 
line the wall. Uh, there's a chair in the center of this room. Uh, and near the far end, there's an open sarcophagus. Uh, insight check, both of you. Six. Jesus. Seven. <laughs> okay. Yep. Nothing looks amiss here. You guys are fine. <laughs> um, great. I, I want to just look at the the statues before heading over to the sarcophagus. If they're holding things, or uh, I'm just going to make a religious check just to see if there's anything re- like significant religious wise I should know. And uh, being a great scholar of comparative religions, I have a free. Hey. Uh, this is what they look like. Oh, cool. Uh, they are not holding anything. They are of stone. Uh, you have clearly a uh, couple, I guess, right here. Uh, each of the faces here are different. This couple is different from that one. Uh, with a three? What, a three or seven? No, three. Uh, yeah, the religious significance is clearly obvious. This is a family tomb. Well, Lucas, we must be respectful as we are excavating this tomb. It's, it's a All right. family tomb. All right. <laughs> uh, where, where would you like to investigate first? The walls with the statues or the sarcophagus at the far end? Do we start want- with this? Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, what, what would you like to do, Lucas? Why don't we start with the statues and then work our way toward the sarcophagus? Okay. Uh, you can see cartouches and hieroglyphics along uh, the wall between each spacing. Uh, they're old. Some of them are damaged. Go ahead and give me perception checks. Oh, cool. Or should or would history be more relevant? Perception for right now. Of uh, 13. 18. Both of you notice that there are holes in the floor uh, about two by two, or I'm sorry, three by three, and they're square. Uh, Looking down at the floor in front of these statues, you can see that uh, some of the squares in front on either side appear to have been lifted out, and there are ladders that go down. Uh, Other pieces of this flooring are intact. As for the cartouches and the hieroglyphics, now I will take history. Uh, I I would like to just look at the sand on the floor and just see what the footprints are like from the previous people. They're everywhere. All right. I got a 15 on my history check. Uh, You guys are regional residents here. Uh, You can make out names of high-ranking officials, very famous, very influential names. You know, people like Rockefeller, you know, sure. Ford, stuff like that. Uh, Pharaoh Ford, Pharaoh Rockefeller. I'll head over to that. I'll head to that sarcophagus and I'll, I'll walk on the edges, uh, you know, like not in the, the sulcuses in the floor. I'll, I'll sure. Uh, you get over there and uh, sarcophagus is open. There appears to be some kind of mummy wrapped in uh, dirty linen uh, with a strange smell um i will <coughs> say uh a religious incantation <coughs> of rest okay were the interred and um before us uh, there's anything of, of note inside the sarcophagus all uh before sealing it back up i'm just going to dip my finger in the holy water and drop a bead on its face to see if it fizzes. Nope. Uh, the linen seems to be strangely absorbent, though. No snap, crackle, pop. Nope. Clearly, it's not bad. I will seal it back up. Apologize for disturbing its slumber. Oh, well, now the sarcophagus lid is on the floor behind the sarcophagus. It was open. Right. I'm going to put it back. It'll take both of you. Okay. Uh, so give me a strength check from both of you. 16. Uh, nat 20. Yep. Plus uh, it's, three. 
it's heavy, but you guys managed to lift it, put it in place, slide it in, thereby entombing um, Pharaoh Musk back into his stone sarcophagus. Are there any ways out of this room other than the ladders leading down? Perception check. Okay. Six. No, I'm sorry. Eight. Wow. Okay. Uh, seven. Wow. Nope. You guys don't see shit. <laughs> Carol, you guys, if you could start red campaign. <laughs> I'm to say, Carrie, if you could just pipe in the Benny Hill theme song at some point. Um, Wow. Well, my suggestion is we climb down one of these ladders. All right. Um, Go ahead and drop the torch. Do you want to go first or want me to go first? That's up to you. All right. I'll go first. Um, Go ahead and drop the torch down and I'll follow. And I'll follow you. Sure. Uh, Torch drops about 15 feet down, lands in a sandy base. Um, there's some moisture at the bottom uh, that has glommed several of the sands uh, together. Go ahead and give me a medicine check. I am also oh, actually I'm Ooh, three. 13. <laughs> oh, it's good seeing someone knows something about medicine. 13 is good enough. Uh, this is blood. Ah. Lucas, there is blood at the bottom of here. Um, apparently, there, there's more than just mummies down here. Okay. At the bottom, there's a two foot by two foot shaft horizontal that goes somewhere towards the center of the overall tomb. <clears throat> so you're saying there's a, a small tunnel we have to crawl through? Yep. And there's blood in front of it. Not a lot, but yes. And it's still wet. No. Uh, it, it's been maybe several hours old. Well. Well. Uh, great. So I'll pick up the torch. Uh, Lucas, come on down. Lucas follows. Uh, it's tight confines because it's three by three foot shaft. Oh, but. Uh, you guys are down there. Lucas uh, Olas points out the shaft. Uh, you guys can play rock, paper, scissors for who goes through it. Uh, Olas might point out the blood, might not. Oh, yeah. There's definitely, um, well, it's it's in your boots now, but um, there was <coughs> stuff, vital fluids. Um, well, I guess I, I, I guess I'll go first. I'll just. Uh, I'll just look in the hole before shoving myself in. It looks like you're going to have to go about 12 feet, and then it opens up into a larger chamber. Uh, Some kind of stone edifice uh, is blocking a good view of the entire room. Well, I'm glad there's nothing suspicious about this. I will crawl in. Perception check. Natural 20. Uh. As you drop down, you notice that there are scuff marks leading in and leading out of here. Well, Lucas, this is also does not bode well. Something went, probably someone went in hastily, got injured, and then left because there's something not pleasant in there. Um, <laughs> sounds like a great idea to just shove ourselves in and then figure out how someone got badly injured doing that. Okay. Um, you stay on this side, and if I start screaming... Seal me in. Yeah. <laughs> for a drink. Uh, you do the army low crawl uh, through the sands. Uh, do you have a torch or the lamp as well, or are you going I'll, in blind? I'll go ahead and I'll cast um, I'll cast light on my shield. Sure. Uh, as you're forwarding your way in, uh, you got to slant the shield a little bit. So your vision's a little bit obscured. You think you've gone about 12 feet. And as you inch forward, you see sides. So uh, everything kind of opens up in this small room. Great. Uh, well, 
stand up and take a look around before giving Lucas the all clear. Uh, you find another oil lamp, uh, an old book with uh, a feather um, quill quill on it. Uh, the lid on the sarcophagus here is open and tipped over to the side. This small chamber, 10 by 10, is covered in cartouches and hieroglyphs as well. You'll, as you stand up, um, it'll be about chest high, and you can look directly into the stone coffin area. And is there more blood uh, by, the, by my feet? Nope, no blood. Uh, I will shout to Lucas that so far there's nothing bad. Um, is there a way out, or is it just another sarcophagus at the end of the space, and that's it? Investigation. <coughs> and? Uh, no. Uh, these appear to be solid walls. Um, well, I feel like it would be the best thing to um, receive. You do have another oil lamp. Well, um, do I have some type of flint and steel? Uh, maybe it's uh, amateurgy. I think I could make a pop a spark, right? Sure. Can I pop a spark? It does not have to be a, a you thing. It has a press did you could, but uh, if you want to say I can with amateurgy, pop a spark and light it. I'll do I'll that. Give, if not, I'll give you a spark. Sure. All right. I'll give I'll you a light spark. That, uh, there's a lot of tools in here like normal tools, uh, okay. crowbar, brush, uh, shovels, picks, things of that nature, things that archaeologists would use. Uh, inside, uh, there is no uh, body, no mummy. In the sarcophagus? Correct. It is empty. Well, I guess I don't need to reseal it. Um, all right, Lucas, I'm going <laughs> to come towards you. I'm going to take the crowbar with me. Sure. Okay. And, and the oil lamp? Um, do I think that this is part of the tomb itself? Well, you're definitely in a tomb. Well, yeah, I mean, I thought the other one was there created by the ancestors. I was trying to think of. This is part of the original tomb that you walked in on. All right, then I will leave it where it is. Okay. Are you going to look at the book or anything like that? Yeah, I'm going to take that with me as well. Uh, well, sure. I'll see where the quill is to see what page it was last opened on. Um, what's in it? Uh, the quill is on page 37. Uh, and a quick glance over indicates that someone named Hightower, Master Hightower, uh, has discovered uh, the tomb of Wiki Wonky, and uh, they've gone ahead and investigated several of the rooms. Give me an insight check. Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can grab the book and go or leave the book behind. <laughs> well, I'll take the book with me. Okay, that's fair. Uh, now you got light and now you got the lantern lit. So you got a shit ton of illumination. Uh, you've told Lucas to wait. You're going to do the low crawl with the book and the lantern, and the shield, uh, you, get, you, you get into the shaft where Lucas is. What do you want to tell him? Well, sarcophagus was empty, so that's not good. Either someone took a body, or the body is left, and there's blood, and, there was, uh, and they're opening up these tombs, and um, who knows what they were finding. So nothing of any import back there, well, but... You see that there's different floors that we can open up and go down into. Okay, let's do that then. Lucas, give me an insight check. Sure. 14. Uh, Lucas looks puzzled. Uh, Olas, he looks at you and he goes, I thought Elkin said that the tomb hadn't been opened yet. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Well, no, I was very confident that we selected the correct tomb. So we you were, were confident. <laughs> you were not correct, but you were confident. No, I'm still confident we're in the right tomb. 
Okay. Fair enough. There's still a couple more shafts to uh, investigate. Um, okay. But again, I'm with my terrible rules. I would not. Every insight rule I've I've rolled has been bad. I can't can't logically break here. You are single digit heroes tonight. Will uh, Lucas, did you want to investigate the rest of this or go somewhere else? Um, what do you want to do? Well, that blood is suspicious. We could try to make sure there's no one in need of help or assistance before leaving this tomb. Okay. D- did you want me to squeeze through one of these tight places for a chance? Uh, there was only one in this area, correct? Oh, okay. Right. Down this shaft, there's only one. So we can there open two other shaft. open areas, yeah. Okay, let's check out the two open areas then. Okay. Odd uh, even. Even. Okay. Uh, similar shaft straight down. Rickety old ladder. Uh, who wants to go down and investigate that one? I'll let you take this one, Lucas. I don't want to take no all the problem. I head down the ladder. <laughs> Lucas, you get down to the bottom. Give me a perception check. You got it. Let me see. Perception is three. Okay. 19. Uh, you find no blood. You find a two by two foot open shaft similar to the other place. Uh, and it leads down. You're holding one of the lanterns. Uh, down the about a 12 foot travel area is another 10 by 10 foot room. Uh, your vision is obscured with some kind of stone edifice there. I shout up this information to Olus. Okay. Uh, good work. Um, I'll, I'll come down the ladder just in case he needs me. Sure. And I'll stand uh, supervising. Okay. Okay. Uh, Lucas, you do the low crawl through. You get in there. Uh, you go about 12 feet. The room flares out. You've got a stone coffin-esque item. Uh, a burial uh, box, if you will. There is a lid on it. Uh, as you rise to your feet, it comes up to about chest high. Hieroglyphics and cartouches all around the place. Uh, the lid has been wiped clean of sand uh, and dust. Uh, it is covered in hieroglyphics. Uh, and it says Tiki on the lid. Should I uh, make a history roll for the hieroglyphics? Sure, if you want. Never mind, I got a four. Have no idea who checks books with us. Uh, Can I can I try to lift the uh, the uh, lid on the sarcophagus? Sure, you can try. Okay, is that a strength roll? Yep. Twenty one. Was it a nat 20? No, it was an 18. You do not give yourself a hernia, but you do not get the lid lifted. Uh, You do, however, move it a little bit, so you do know it is not secured. You're going to need the help of your good friend, Olas, the low roller. (laughs) Uh, Olas, could you come down here, please? What? (laughs) Sure. Um, I I will... um army crawl through there book and shield in tow and um uh i'll i'll flip open the book before we start sliding the slid just to see if there's any uh if we can identify who might be in this sure uh are you going to leave the lit lantern behind making it easier to crawl through yep okay i got a lit shield let's see what page you land on i got a whole like my whole shield is a big flashlight uh, Tiki uh, is mentioned as you flip through the pages. Uh, there is a notation in here. He appears to be uh, a pharaoh of some renown. Uh, you also notice that there is a mark, uh, a notation, if you will, on that stating that uh, his tomb has been found but has not been opened due to time. Well, Lucas, did you want to I'm, we should probably check to make sure this sarcophagus is not evil and not posing a danger to our scholar friends coming here to study. So I think we should probably open this. Definitely. All right. Uh, so whoop, I dropped my die and I will use something else. Ah, 
Oh, cool. Uh -oh. Uh, if I use what's on the floor, I roll the net one. Uh, and I, I rolled a six. If I'm rolling on, uh, on the table, it was a five after my bonus. Uh, nice. Each one of you take one hit point of damage as you pinch your fingers. That's okay. I got nine more. I've got right, now nine. Should be more. max. You guys should be max at second level. So keep that in mind. Okay. Right. Max hit points, including uh, con bonus. Okay. Okay. You guys want to try and lift it again? I'm um, sure. Okay. I mean, if you are, Lucas. I, I'll give you up to three times. <clears throat> so that's an eight. Uh, that's a nine. You don't pinch your fingers this time, but you still don't get it open. This lid is pretty heavy. I can hear I can hear our, our viewers just like unsubscribing. <laughs> <laughs> I can just they can see the view count just like <laughs> all right. Third time's the charm. Okay. Ooh, okay. I got 19 that time. So did I. Uh, yeah, easily this time you guys get it open, slide it, drop it off. Inside is a mummy surrounded by some gold and copper jewelry. Hmm. There's a heavy layer of dust on the mummy itself and on the jewelry, but you can tell in the, uh, light of the shield that, uh, Hey, there's, there's some shit here. Well, Feel free, Lucas. Uh, first spoils go to you. Okay. Um, should we try that holy water test again that you did on the previous mummy just to be safe? Sure, that's a good idea. Oh, wow. That's a good idea. How about uh, you guys go ahead and give me perception checks before you do that? <laughs> 17. 11. Uh, Olas, uh, you're digging around your pouch trying to get to the holy water. Lucas, you hear clicking. I, uh, I make Olas aware of the clicking noise. Well, that's not good. I'm going to run the hell out of the room. Me too. Well, remember, you can only go one at a time through the two by two. All right, uh, Lucas. You guys roll oh! initiative and see go first, who react first. <laughs> now initiative's a D20, right? Yep. Okay. I got a 16. Olaf. Ah. I got a fifth. Nope, I got 13. Uh you go first, Lucas. You guys uh shit and get Lucas goes down into the dust, starts low crawling fast. Uh Olaf, uh, you got a 15, you said? Uh, 13. Oh, 13? Okay, I got a six uh, in the bright light of your holy shield illuminated by the light spell. You see a hole up near the top of the ceiling, and there are scorpions about the size of my fist crawling out. Uh, that is the source of the clicking. Uh, you may then follow Lucas out and hope they don't chase you, or you may stand your ground like you're in Florida. Uh, I will go ahead since it's a uh, you know one area. I'm going to go ahead and just use burning hands just up into the hole and uh, flame those out because cool. I don't want anyone to get hurt by those. Cool. You have to roll to hit, don't you? Uh, I have to pop that over here. Realize that it is considered a easier spell. Uh, it's each creature in a 15 foot cone must make a deck save. Okay. There's a two, another two, and a 12. What do I need to pass? Uh, 12 damage. Um, bum, 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 13. Uh, all three fail, uh, but your magically enchanted flame also dips into the stone box and flames go up as the mummy itself. Oh, I thought this was a hole in the ceiling. It is. 
but you're aiming across. Oh, I you thought know, I was just going to go up and go like straight into the hole. Uh, you know what? I'll give you that. So I, I will not set the sarcophagus or the mummy on fire. No, I wouldn't. I would, I would potentially not want to do that. It would have to uh, earn my ire first. Uh, the so whatever failed, it's that just would be 12 hit points. Uh, okay. Then we have one. So they ignite and the rest of them scurry back into the hole. All right. I guess I'll go back and ah, it's hard to be a cleric and justify doing grave robbing in the first place instead of the wizard. But I guess <laughs> as the modules written, I would be taking that jewelry. So uh, I'll go back and get that um, and shove that in my bag, and then I will follow Lucas out. Sure. See, Lucas, he tells you to go first, then he gets all the treasure. Says, ah, <laughs> now, now I see how this is going to go. Like ah, who says I'm not going to share? <laughs> he, he, he doesn't know you have it. I know. <laughs> That's I, true. I'll bring it up later. He is, he is okay. Next. All right. Lucas, all right. you don't know what the hell's going on as you're low crawling out of there, but you hear, <laughs> you know, the sizzle, the pop, the uh, sound of burning hands almost. Uh, and then there's a delay and nothing but silence. And then a few moments pass. Uh, Olas low crawls out and he is with you in the two by two foot shaft. <clears throat> hey, uh, so we got one more of these we can check. Okay, let's do that then. Who wants to go down this one? Oh, I will if you don't want to again. Hey, I, I want to take all the glory. But, uh, okay, I'm going this one. <clears throat> there is a well, give me a perception check. Okay. 17. There's a lot of dried blood in the bottom of this one. Uh, and with a 17, you also notice something is just below the layer of the sand. Okay. Uh, I continue down. Okay. Oh, uh, you're all, you're already at the bottom. Okay. Another two foot by two foot. Oh, uh, similar to the other ones we were in. Exactly like the other ones. I shout to Olos to come down. All right. No, oh, come on down. Uh, you guys are in tight quarters. Uh, do you want to tell them about the lump in the sand, or just let them stand on it? I'll warn him. Okay. Lump in the sand, you say? Uh, yeah, I'll... A lot of blood here in the sand. Yes. Uh, I'll just dig through the sand a little bit and see what's going on. D12 against me? Three. Is this just Seven. a standard D20 roll? Uh, no, this is Olas checking uh, D12. Oh, okay. uh, Olas, you uncover a severed hand. Uh, a fresh hand or a mummified? It's pretty much fresh. I will hold on to it. That person might want it back. <laughs> yes. Good call. Uh, again, two foot by two foot uh, tunnel, if you will. Uh, also, is it a neat, uh, clean cut across or is it like a jagged rending? It's pretty much clean cut. All right. So, Lucas, if you... Um, if you look at this, uh, there's got to be some sort of blade trap hidden somewhere. Okay. Uh, possibly this person has triggered it, so it won't go again. But it'll be a fast, clean thing because you see how very nice and neatly this bone is set. Right, so, right. So, do you crawl through first, or am I? Oh, I'll, I'll do it. I'll go ahead. I'll just shove this hand in my pocket. Okay. Okay. Hopefully, it doesn't animate and attack. <laughs> yes. Yes. Sure, we'll say attack. Uh, Lucas, you crawl through there. Uh, you come to another room, just like the others. The lid on this sarcophagus is askew. Uh, there is a lot of what appears to be dried blood on the outside of the box. Uh, uh, can I go ahead and... Um, let me see... Um, look into the sarcophagus sure there is a, a, a linen covered mummy-esque thing down in there 
You also notice that the blood on the outside is duplicated on the inside. Okay. I call Olos over to where the uh, mummy is. All right. What you got, Lucas? Well, I show him the mummy and the blood, and I say maybe we should try the holy water test again. All right. I was give him a little, little splash, a little, little drop here, see uh, what the reaction is. You hold it up. Drop the drop in. Go ahead and hit him for me, please. Because it's it's the lid is not completely off. It's, uh, it's you. Uh, I'm also great at this. Uh, so <clears throat> I don't know how you want to adjudicate this, but it'd probably be an eight or nine unless there's extra bonuses added to. Uh, well, you, you got some of the holy water on the linen shoulders, uh, but. There's no sizzle or pop or anything. It's uh, fine. On the side, you can see some okay. dust uh, and some more uh, jewelry. Okay. Lucas, this one's got jewelry inside it. I'll take the jewelry then. As you reach in, give me a dexterity check. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. 14. Luck is with you as you hear a metal on stone Whip your hand out just as you see a blade whew, uh, swirl around the opening. Do I get the jewelry or just avoid having my head cut uh, off? I'll, I'll hand Lucas the crowbar and make here. You can just wedge it against the blade and then you can get the jewelry. I'll do that then. Okay. Uh, as you do that, uh, the blade comes in again, clangs against the uh, crowbar, Go ahead and give me a strength check. It's going to be a low check. Really easy. Don't say that. Don't say but that. 21. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. you, uh, you hold the crowbar firm and the blade trap snaps across it, uh, rendering it now useless. So now you believe that you can reach in and grab the jewelry. I grab the jewelry. As you do so, you feel something on your wrist. Roll initiative. Twelve. Six. <laughs> uh, Ten. His is the only hand in there, so... Uh, you feel a scrape on your wrist, but it does no damage. Mm -hmm. But something's in there grabbing you. Can I look down and see what it is? It's a uh, desiccated hand. Okay. Can I try to chop off the hand with my great axe? Uh, you guys have not removed the lid, so no. Uh, it, huh. You may try. Uh, however, I will give you the fact that you're smart enough to realize that you will chop off your forearm in doing so. You know, Never mind. It's, it's Never okay. Mind. It can't. It can't reach and grab us. Oh, okay. Because it'll trigger its own blade trap and then cut its own hand off. Oh, okay. Again. So, do you want to reach down in there and grab a handful of jewelry? Uh maybe not. I'll, I'll give him the rest of the bottle of the holy water. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, can I pour the holy water on the um? A uh, mummy, yeah. then? Yeah. On the mummy? On the mummy or the hand? On the hand. Oh, sure. Go ahead and hit it. Okay. What, I, thought what, it was the, I thought it was the hand of the mummy. It is not. The hand is uh, separate from the mummy. Oh, well, oh. so do I know. Okay, what do I roll to pour holy water on the hand? Uh, you can use dexterity as the modifier. Okay. 18. Uh, yeah, you hear a sizzle and a pop. Go ahead and roll a d6 for me. Sure. You guys are dealing with thing from five, point. uh, five points of damage. Uh, quick look inside. You notice that the desiccated hand uh, is now pockmarked with holes and resting comfortably on the dust in the bottom of the coffin. Okay. Can I try to grab the jewelry now? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Give, give me a d8 roll, please. Okay, hold on. Eight points. Uh, you are able to grab eight different items. Uh, the value is 80 gold pieces. 
Uh, okay. So uh, you think there's more in there, but you're going to have to take the lid off. Okay. Uh, Olas, do you want to try to help me with this lid? Sure. What's well, the worst that could happen? Um, you did you did um, disarm that blade trap, yes? Yes, I put the crowbar in there. And it shattered the blade. Making sure. All right, I'll, I'll help you move it. Okay. Strength check. Oh, okay. 20. 19. Oh, yeah, this lid's easy to pull off. You pull off, uh, you see four more pieces of jewelry. Uh, Olas, you got 120 gold pieces worth of jewelry in the last one. Lucas, there are four more pieces of jewelry that you could not reach. I so grabbed them. Does this jewelry look more or less valuable than the stuff that I have? Same value. All right, I'll give Lucas a comparable share. Thank you. Uh, that's it. The mummy's not moving. Uh, the, right. There was only one desiccated hand in there, and that's it. Okay. Cool. Just seal it back up and head on to the. Well, okay, wait, we... That was the last. That was the last shaft, right? Yep. All right. I guess the last go. open oh, shaft. Could, uh, what? The last open shaft. Okay. Well, let's uh, crack open a, another shaft. Okay. Frank, is this derailing your idea of a different tomb we're really supposed to be in? <laughs> no, I'm just uh, porting over some of the information. Okay. All right. So on this one, give me a D4. You're you in know, the fourth one. Okay. You know me. If I'm not pulling stuff out of my ass, I'm not playing the game right. Uh, give me a strength check to lift this uh, square up. 17. Lucas? Oh, right. Uh, 10. Uh, Lucas doesn't get a good handhold on it, but he does get a handhold on it. So, Did you, Do you need a hand? <laughs> guys, <laughs> uh, you guys managed to lift it up. Uh, clearly, there's no ladder here. It's just a dark, darkened hole. Lucas, can you grab one of the ladders in the hole next to us? Sure. You guys do that while uh, you wait, Olas. Give me a perception check. Twenty. You know you aren't certain, uh, but you're pretty sure the darkness in that shaft below is moving. Kind uh, of. Oh. Uh, is it not visible with me holding my giant flashlight of shield light? It. it it is, but you are not in a uh, football stadium. Okay. So there are pockets of shadows and things of that nature. Uh, then I'll go ahead and um, I'll uh, light a torch and drop it in there and see what's what. Sure. Uh, Lucas, you've got the ladder. You're walking over there. Uh, Olas, as you drop the torch in. A shadow moves and comes skyrocketing up the shaft. Go ahead and roll initiative. Right. Ooh, Three. Four. I'm going last. Four. I'm going right ahead of you. Uh, a shadow comes whipping up out of the shaft and attempts to hit Olas. Uh, Twelve plus four. Four sixteen. That is my AC. What you got for me? I got two D sixes. Deuces four, and you lose. You feel weak because you have lost one hit, one strength point. So you suffer four damage, and you feel weaker. Uh, the damage itself is necrotic. And the strength penalty will last until you take a rest. Uh, yeah. Holy shit, there's a shadow attacking you. You are now up. All right, great. Um, uh, stand aside, Lucas. I'll handle this, and I'll go ahead and channel. Because there's no turning undead these days. It's just channeling divinity. It, it, they still do turn undead, but it doesn't work nearly as well as it used to. And I don't think you're high enough level to affect this thing. I'll look uh, while you channel divinity. 
All right, I guess I'll channel divinity then. Um, so, uh, yeah, radiance of the dawn. Uh, so that is it ends magical darkness in 30 feet and uh, hostile creatures in uh, 30 foot radius make 2d10 plus 2 radiant damage. Con for half. So, DC 13 for half. Uh, con, you say? That uh, is correct. just one below. So, no, I will take full damage. Ah, sweet. Ah, uh, so that is nine and 15, 17 points of damage. <coughs> uh, that is enough to banish the undead creature to its plane of origin. Ah. You, you, have, van- you have vanquished the opponent. So I did attack the darkness. You did attack the darkness. You stared in it and made it your bitch. (laughs) Uh, Lucas, you have no idea what the hell's going on, uh, and you're still holding the ladder above your head. I'm just glad he decided to play a cleric. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, originally I was going to play a wizard scholar because I thought, oh, tomb raiding, that would make sense. Uh, so that worked in our favor. Uh, but if you could just put the ladder there, that would be that would be great. Just I just, mo- I, just I, I move I move the ladder. I move the ladder. Be careful. There's a, there's a torch at the bottom. Right. Uh, you drop the ladder into the shaft uh, successfully. Well, you know what? Roll straight up d20. If you roll a one, you'll conk Olas in the head. Okay. Ten. Yep, you pop it down there without hitting him in the face. Uh, Who wants to go down? I'll go. You go down there, no blood. Uh, There's a torch still lit, miraculously. Uh, And there's a two-by-two-foot shaft uh, that goes what you believe to be outside of the tomb walls. Um, Have have I worked with uh, Lucas for a while? (laughs) Uh, yeah, about three months. Uh, then I'll just, as a, as a quick aside, I'll use that to turn you to change the color of the torch as he goes to grab it to like bright purple to fuck with him. Yeah. Okay. Lucas, <laughs> All right, it's, it must be a trap. It must be. It's a curse. <laughs> well, noting the fact that you guys have had shit rolls all night long. <laughs> Uh, Lucas, give me a wisdom roll, please. Twenty-one, natural twenty-one. You know, Olas is just fucking with you. All right, would you knock that off? (laughs) Next pints on me, buddy. Sorry. (laughs) All right, too good of an opportunity. Uh, if he would have failed that, that would have been hilarious. Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have let that run. Well, he, he, I would race to natural twenty on that roll too. Oh. <laughs> uh, at the bottom, same as the others, there's a two by two foot shaft, horizontal. <coughs> excuse me, uh, leading away from you. What you want to okay. do, Lucas? I can crawl through this one first. Okay. Um, uh, Since people haven't gone uh, through this yet, I will be a little bit more cautious. I'll just see before going in there, any spider webs, trip wires, things that look uh, askew. Scorpions, severed hands. Exactly. Spider webs, actually. Thank you, Frank. You're welcome. Yep, arachnophobia. Uh, Lucas, can well. I borrow that torch for a second? Sure. Um, he, um, I will. You can take my shield behind me, so you can have a light. But I'll take. Well, you got okay. a torch. Well, maybe at this okay. time we should probably both have torches. So okay. I'll, I'll. This one's probably not good for too much longer. I'll crawl in first, and I'll burn my way through the right. crawl space. The spider silk goes up quickly uh and you pretty sure you hear tiny screams of tiny little spiders as they burn up uh probably wishing their parents were there to save them 
but alas, uh, you Tomb Raiders don't give two shits. So you have burned out an entire colony of spiders. Uh, yep. And you reach another room. Same thing. Stone casing. Uh, the lid is on this one. Uh, there are no footprints anywhere in this chamber. Um, so you're pretty sure. Huzzah! You're the first. Um, any markings on the wall that are significant? Uh, Arcana check. Fourteen. Uh, there are some markings. Uh, this is Tuco, the tomb of Tuco. I'll check my book. Uh, yeah, you got a you got a Tuco in this book. Uh, brother oh, of Tippy. Thanks. Yeah, he's not like, is he a fan of impaling people? A fan of like anything you just know? Tuco Salamana is not listed as a uh, killer of people. Ah, perfectly safe. Uh, Then I'll go over to the um, sarcophagus and just visually inspect four things. Also check the ceiling for convenient vents uh, or drop holes before calling Lucas over. Sure. Uh, there are cracks in the ceiling, uh, a lot of dust on the sarcophagus lid. Uh, none of them are bigger than the hand width. You assume that's how the spiders have gotten in. Uh, but otherwise, it looks, uh, eh, you know, you're no engineer, uh, but uh, hell, it stood this long. Short of a bulldozer going over the top of it, you think this ceiling will hold for another 10 minutes. All right, Lucas, come on in. Um, come on in. It looks moderately, acceptably safe. Okay. Uh, same, as, same as before, only, Lucas, you notice that there's only one set of footprints in here. Uh, so you, too, realize, huzzah, we're the first. Okay. So there may be a chance that there could be a cave-in. Um, it would, part of the course, it would make sense that if we had a one room with spiders or one room with scorpions, one room with shadow, one room with blade, a deadfall could make sense. So, do you have rations? Oh, uh, hold on. It's not two mahors, for God's sake. You're second level. <laughs> uh, if it was two mahors, yeah. I wouldn't have rolled into any, I would have gone into any like crawl space blindly. <sighs> Okay, should we try to, to move the lid, the lid on the... Uh, sure. Strength check. 21. Uh, 12. Ooh, you don't know what it is about Lucas, but he's, he's not pulling his own weight. Uh, but you guys do manage to get the lid slid off. Uh, unlike the others, there is no mummy in this one. There is a blue velvet uh, blanket uh, underneath that appears as though it's the shape of a body, uh, but you don't recall seeing any blue velvet coverings in the others. Granted, people had been there before, so you know you maybe. are first, so maybe you guys get to hold the blue velvet. Maybe it's a cloak of invisibility. You want to try it out, Lucas? Okay. Mm. Excuse me. Yeah, As you pull, pull it forth, you notice that it is trimmed in gold. Uh, whipping it out of the casket, you notice that, oh, it's weird. Uh, it's covering a skeleton. Uh, and then you hear bones move. So everybody roll initiative. At the one time we don't put a drop of holy water. 11. <laughs> 16. 16. Uh, close, but no cigar. 16 on the roll. Uh, the skeleton sits bolt upright, pulls out a great sword, and does the whew, uh, swing uh, two attacks. So he will just swing it in a big circle and try and hit each of you. So first on Olaf's. With an at twenty. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, he has he. Lucas was borrowing my shield for for you know. Yeah. 
No, I, no, I still have my shield because I have my own torch. So, yeah, I still have my shield with me. All right, cool. Lay it on Se- 17 on Lucas. So, the roundhouse display for the blade connects. Uh, uh, one and a two. Three hit points of damage each. Okay. And well, holy that, shit, there's a, uh, three hit points of damage yeah. each. There, uh, holy shit, there's an animated skeleton in here. I have seen worse. Uh, all right, what was our initiative order? Who goes next? I got a 15. You do. do. You got a 15. Right. You got an 11. Uh, then I will just knee jerk, you know, course shriek because it was not expected. And then I will just. F- a manly shriek. <laughs> oh, no, no. It'll, it'll be a genuine shriek of terror and unexpected. I mean, of all the things. I expected the ceiling to collapse, not a skeleton to attack. <laughs> uh, so I will um, grab my mace and try to bash it in the healer of them skull. And cool. um, I continue to shriek as I have um, rolled a three with my strength <laughs> damage. <laughs> you, you it would have been four, Frank, but thanks to you. <laughs> you careen your mace off the side of the stone. Oh, I'm sorry. It was, it's a, with my proficiency bonus, sorry. It should have been technically, uh, it'd be a, a five. I rolled a five. Nice. Uh, Lucas, uh, clearly your associate of three months is worthless. It's going to be up to you to try and destroy this skeleton before it destroys you guys. Great axe. Okay. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think we're going to be killed by the skeleton. If we, if we kill the skeleton, we're just going to go back and just drink. Like the, the skeleton opts to get out of its confinement, so it is going to take uh, all of its movement to get off of its prone nature, uh, so it will not attack this round. Olas! The Slayer of Nothing. You're up. I, sl- I slayed an otherworldly beast that no one saw me slay. Ah, ah. Uh, so that time, so that, a 19. So, oh, yeah, you can act. Frank, I mean, suck at skeleton. Uh, <laughs> so that is five points of bludgeoning damage. Five works. Lucas. All right. 13 this time. That hits. Okay, that's much better. All right. All right. 12 points of damage. Nice. You guys are kicking ass, taking names. Unfortunately, the skeleton is out of the box, and it's its turn. So on Olaf's uh, 13. Uh, no, I deflect it with my shield. Swing and a miss as it ricochets off your metallic shiny shield, spins around and tries to whack Lucas uh, with a 10. No. Uh, ricochets off his armor. Uh, Olas, your turn. Uh, I will go ahead We're and... round uh, three. I will just shift my position so I'm flanking it. Uh, flanking bonus the thing these days. Uh... Okay, so. Well, there's not a whole lot of room. Plus, All right. You, you got, it's, in, time. it's in between you guys. You, you're both flanking it in reality. Uh, 17 to hit, so that would be hits. five points of bludgeoning again. Nice. Lucas? Uh, I apologize. That's adding in my extra strength damage, so technically I should have done four and four. <laughs> got it. Uh, not nine. It does a nine hit? <laughs> a nine does not hit this time. I didn't think so. Uh, round four. Uh, let's see. Odd, even. Odd. Uh, Lucas, it turns to you, and an unearthly squeal is emitted from its mouth. Give me a wisdom check, please. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, wisdom save. Eight. Uh, 16. Uh, whew. That thing has stinky breath. Olas! It has no uh, lungs. Yeah, well, you know, it shouldn't be moving. It has no heart. Uh, <laughs> or Olas, brain. you're up. Um, did that breath thing affect us? 
Nope, he saved, and it only went after him. Oh, oh okay, I thought it was near it. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I guess I the whole mace thing. I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah. Mace, 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 mace. Uh, the mace. Uh, I'll, God, that whole strength damage thing has got me all kinds of messed up. Uh, so that's just 10. Uh, Ricochet is off the armor scraps that it is wearing. Lucas, you're up. Okay, let's see if I can do something decent here. Finally, uh, 20. Not 20? No, 15 right. plus 5. There you go. Uh, seven points of damage. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, new round. It's going to go back to swinging. Uh, Olaf's. Bring it. Ten. No. Oh, I, I, I laugh at the puny attempt. Lucas, a two on the die, so that's going to miss again. Olaf's, you're up. Uh, I go ahead and I swing again. Uh, Thirteen. Hits. Oh, sh- all right, I'll I'll take it. Aha, six points of damage. You're whittling it down. What? You're whittling it down. Lucas, you're up. Come on, Lucas, you got uh, this. Nine. Go for the bones. <laughs> Go for the bones. Miss. Uh, How did I tell you, Lucas? I told you to do one thing. <laughs> Allow me to demonstrate after it takes its turn. Olas, it is not happy with your strike, turns to you, opens up its mandible, and an unholy screech emerges. Give me a wisdom save. Ah, 19. You are unaffected as well. I screech back, and I go for the bones. Nice. And I do not find any bones. I rolled a, a three. No, a four. A four. I rolled a four. You're uh, doing even worse than I've been doing. You clank into the stone coffin box again. Lucas, you're up. All right. <coughs> 16. That's a hit. 12. 12 damage as uh, he tears through its rib cage with his great axe sundering uh the poor bastard as the bones crumble and fall to the sandy floor both of you notice little scarab beetles just all over the place uh they are not attacking you they appear to be looking for a way out okay all right, uh, I'll use this as a opportunity that I will go ahead and cast um, Cure Wounds on myself. Sure. Lucas, what are you doing? Um, let me see. There was, was there any treasure in the coffin, uh, sarcophagus? No treasure in the sarcophagus. However, as you turn over the velvet rug that was in there, uh, you notice you are stuck in a Scooby-Doo episode, and there are gemstones stitched into the back of the cloth. Uh, quite a lot of them. Uh, they don't look real expensive, but there's a lot of them. I'll take the cloth then. Yeah. Inside, uh, there is an old dagger. It's got a mermaid handle on it. Cool. Cool. Pretty dusty, but eh, it looks like it probably still cut something. Okay. Fans who watch the Margu campaign will know that I do love my mermaid handled daggers. All right. Uh, Lucas, are you taking the dagger? Are you going to leave it or are you going to? Oh, I'm taking the dagger. Okay, fair enough. Uh, That appears to be all that's there. Olas, uh, as you're curing yourself, you notice the scarabs. Have climbed the walls and are headed for those cracks in the ceiling. Well, well, Lucas, do you want to see if we can break through this and go into another chamber, or do you think that's going sure. to do us? No, I, I'm up for well, that. Well, we could use that crowbar and see if we can just pry a couple pieces out. That way, we do it gently. Okay, 
Do we do we retrieve the crowbar from the trap? I assume you would have. Okay, cool. So you go back up top? Sure. Give me a roll. D4 roll, please. All right. Two. <clears throat> this stone ain't coming up. Now, give me an insight check. Hmm. 19. Uh, you notice that the other open areas are not right next to each other. So it's kind of honeycombed. So not every square you try and yank up is probably going to lead somewhere. Okay. Okay. So you have one and three to choose from on the left side and just one on the right side. Uh, why don't we try for the right side then? All right. Sounds like a good idea. Okay. Uh, you guys going to pry it up? Sure. Go for it, Lucas. Uh, nope. It ain't coming up. Okay. Let's go try the ones on the left side then. Okay. One or three. Hmm. One. Uh yeah, you're getting you're getting some dig there, so give me strength checks. Uh fourteen. Olaf. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, nine. No, Olas is too weak. Oh, yeah, we could take a rest. That's true. You can take a short rest. Sure, let's do that. Uh, are you going to take a... You guys are up on the, the main floor, correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you take your short rest. Uh, Olas, you feel the vitality coursing through your body. It's been That's an off. hour. Uh all told, you've probably been under maybe three hours uh, poking around, looking around, looking at the hieroglyphics, things of that nature. Uh, so, you know, uh, there isn't a big time constraint, but you don't want to be, yeah, you don't want to be caught in here, you know, when everybody gets here. Uh, after that, uh, I'll give you each one hit die worth of hit points back. So if you want to roll your hit die, you can take that back. Oh, shit. I didn't even need to shoot. I didn't even need to cast cure then. <clears throat> Alright. I'm good. I'm full. Me too. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give us another strength roll there. I assume you're going to try and open the same one. Nat 20. Ah. Nat, uh, 7. Uh, Lucas, you got your end up, but uh, Olas isn't doing his job. So this is a good opportunity to talk about, you know, you want to get your dice from a good vendor like our fabulous sponsors whose dice are guaranteed to roll better than this. Well, I don't want to denigrate any brand name, but you need <laughs> big red for that. Uh, one more time, please. 12 15 that time you got it open uh kind of the same as the last one um you want to drop the torch down no oh, we're out of torches technically unless you had more torches I didn't have more. no <clears throat> that was it we had the two okay uh well you can uh drop go grab a ladder and drop it in there okay I'll grab it and I'll move it on over there. Give me a straight up D20 roll. Make sure you don't whack him in the face. So close there. Uh, seven, uh, 15. Oh, easy peasy. Uh, you reach in, you drop it down, and uh, it keeps going. <laughs> do we hear it hit the ground? You do hear it hit the ground. Uh, this shaft is maybe 20, 25 feet down. 
Uh, but yeah, that's that's gonna be a problem. I, I suppose you could always use rope to lower yourself down. I or used to lower your lantern. I used the character generator and didn't do my normal uh, loadout, so I have nothing helpful. So, uh, uh, do you have any rope there, Lucas? No. <laughs> All right, this whole idea of going back to the tavern and just drinking our treasure is starting to sound better and better. Um, well, we have another ladder we can drop down there. Um, I mean, other than besides knock a statue down there and put a ladder on top of the stack. We could try that. Yeah, you could certainly try. <laughs> I, I don't want to disagree with the tomb that much. Okay. I have my limits. Uh, um, let me see if I can't figure out something interesting that I can do. Now, on the uh, fast character generator, the bottom left, you should have, or bottom center, you should have some items with you. It gives me some pretty useless ones. It actually made me a cleric that special ability doesn't seem to, I can't find it in the SRD. So I'm trying to figure out if there's something uh, useful I could do because I don't know what warding flare is, but I can use it three times. Uh, but yeah, no, I've got ink, small knife, paper, clothes. I've got bumpkiss. I am pretty worthless. Uh, yeah, warding flare isn't even in the spell book. I know it's weird. It was it, it says the cleric of light, and I've been looking through uh, the SRD, and there's no light domain. I, I I would assume that you could go ahead and cause a flare to appear if you want to shoot it down there. That would work uh, in this SRD. I could be a cleric of beer. <laughs> True. You could be a cleric of retirement if it, things keep going poorly. Hey, you know. Well, uh, what are our options, Lucas? So we have, a, I guess, one of us could just. So we don't have any way to see the bottom there. Um, I guess I could. Mm, what can I do? Uh, I guess I could use a. Thamaturgy, make a light, a rock glow, and drop it down there and that see what the bottom that. looks like. And if it's survival, yeah, if I, I jump down around. there, heal myself after breaking my legs. But I don't know how to get back up. So I just. <laughs> now you're sure this is the only tomb here? You, there is number three spot that you haven't checked. I, I, I'd be willing to try number three. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you meant that I picked the right tomb in the first time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, you you did not pick the right tomb of uh, Sal or Sal Ame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sal Manila. Got it. All right. Let's check this other one then. Um, I'll help you lift the lid. Can we start okay. check? Uh, that is a nineteen. Okay. Hold on a moment. That's a 19 for me as well. Easily ah, you lift this up, yeah. Uh, shaft, aren't quite sure how deep it goes. Uh, now, remember, you do have the lanterns and or the shield. Okay. Oh, I thought you said we rested for three hours. Or is that rest just for a few minutes? Oh, no, that that would be hours. So, yeah. Well, now, the lantern, I mean, you had two of them. Yeah. I'm just trying to be accurate here. Uh, uh, okay. I think torches last for an hour, but lanterns last for three times that. So that'd be if you rested for three hours, then. I gave you an hour's rest. Okay. There we go. So we got a little bit of lantern time. All right. Onward. You've been you've been down here for about three hours, but okay. you only rested for an hour. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. What is in this now that we've got this lid off? This one's uh, similar to the ones that you've been to before, so it's only about 10 feet down. So grabbing another ladder should uh, do nicely. 
All right, okay, so you got cool. one ladder. That's good. All right. Okay, let's do this one then. Who's grabbing it? I will. D20 to make sure you don't clock him. Okay. 18. Yep. Slide it down. You guys are getting real good at this tomb robbing shit. Uh, shove it down there. Yeah, it feels like you got a firm base. You should be okay. All right. All right. We'll pop down there. Both or uh, just you? Uh, I'll go first. No. I'll, I'll come with. I'll come after. Sure. Right. No blood. Uh, same thing. Two by two foot shaft going out. All right. Um, we're low on time. I will just be reckless. I'm just going to shove myself down that hole. Sure. Uh, you make it about halfway through. Uh, give me a perception check. I like where this is going. Uh, eight, uh, 16. Your leg just brushed up against something, and now the whole shaft is filling with dust, and it seems to be shrinking on you. I guess I will scrabble faster. Uh, give me a Forward. d20 roll. Uh, anything on that? No. 18. Uh, Lucas, uh, you hear this grating noise, and you notice the two-by-two-foot tunnel is shrinking dramatically. Uh, you scream out, run, Olas, run! Uh <laughs> And Olas, you managed to make it into the 10 by 10 foot room all by yourself. And so I at least reach and grab my hat dramatically before it closes. You reach and grab the lantern dramatically. To oh, save that means the Lucas is in darkness. Yep. Uh oh. oh. And I'm like, nothing bad ever happens in darkness in old tombs. <laughs> Uh, Lucas, you do find yourself in darkness. You do have the ladder, uh, but your friend Olas is, I don't know. Separated from me. Splitting the party. Um, let me see. Uh, can, can I try to clamber up the ladder? Sure. Give me a dexterity check. Oh, boy. I rolled a natural one and I've a minus one to my dexterity. I think this adventure is about to be over. Uh, you get all the way to the top. The sand shifts probably from that moving thing tips backwards. You crack your head against the far wall. You suffer four hit points of damage and I need a constitution check. Okay. That at least I'm better at. Okay. 19 on my con check. You are not knocked unconscious oh thank <laughs> goodness uh after the bird stops circling your head uh you can feel the ladder it's tipped backwards so you can shove it back up and try it again if you want i would like that yes sure another dex check yep eight this time <laughs> this is turning into a three stooges <clears throat> episode <laughs> you get to the very top of the ladder uh you are not at the exit point it appears as though the ladder has thunk uh -oh. and you are having a hard time as you reach up to try and find the lip of the uh opening uh, you start to rattle around and you think better of it, pausing to figure out what the hell you're going to do. <laughs> Old Moss, uh, as you look around, hieroglyphics, cartouches, stone edifice. All right. Uh, I'll try to gather what context clues I can uh, and cross compare it with my handy dandy book of the dead uh, I have on me. Uh, <clears throat> you find the name Ilsa etched into the stone uh, lid uh, so go. but you're you are not finding any notation for Ilsa all right uh, I believe she was a she-wolf all right so I am, so same temple as the other places just sarcophagus on one side yep. I'm sealed in here 
Mm -hmm. Um, I will uh, take this, my mace and then just uh, wrap and a tap along the <laughs> sides of the walls just to hear if I hear any different sounds. Sure, give me an uh, give me an investigation check, please. Five. <laughs> uh, oh, man, oh, holy shit! I think the air's leaving this place. <laughs> the claustrophobia starts to take over and you um, can panic excessively. This is becoming a morality tale <coughs> about tomb robbing. <laughs> yeah, you gotta uh, go to the right tomb for that. All right. Uh, I guess <laughs> I will try opening that sarcophagus myself, even though it's taken two people each time. I will try to open it myself. Sure, go ahead. Nap 20 will get it open. Uh, I, I'm just going to put my camera just to show that I, I literally sure. did get a, a, nat, a nat 20. Oh, shit. Nice. I, I don't know if you could see that, but it literally did say 20. So nice. this do, lid, is that, is that, did I actually do it? Yeah. This, this lid is a whole lot lighter. Uh, as you push it, you notice instead of being a solid piece of stone, this one's kind of arched. So it's thinner. <coughs> Inside is a mummy. Do you have any more holy water? Yeah, I got one. Okay. Uh, the body of this mummy is considerably smaller. There is a silver circlet on the outside of the linen, indicating royalty. There's a small uh, onyx scarab right in the center of the silver circlet, uh, kind of like a princess or something. Uh -huh. Are usually being like lawful good characters and like I'm um, pillaging, but I will do the the holy water drop test and see. Uh, the linen absorbs the holy water. All right, clearly not a problem. I guess I'm just going to loot this corpse because what else am I going to do? Uh, loot and see what happens. Uh, you take the circlet off first. Sure. Uh, it's very yeah. lightweight. You notice that the scarab is about yay big around. Uh, give me a uh, wisdom check. Well, is it coming alive yet? <laughs> nope. Uh, do you want to peel off the linen and see if it's got any jewels on it? There, There is nothing around the body, just the silver circlet on top. I'll put the silver circlet on. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, you see an outline about where you came in and to the right, you now see an outline of what appears to be a, a cartouche that isn't indented, but is actually uh, embossed. Hmm. Um, yeah. Embossed. I will, I will <laughs> thank the, the, the royalty, um, I'm not going to desecrate it if it's giving me this. Uh, there's no point in, in making my life more miserable than it possibly is. So I will go and I will, what? Are you disapproving? No, I, I, I was thinking a different storyline. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will rip the fantasy <clears throat> open and look for whatever gems that I'm supposed to. Is that... There are a few silver rings uh, lacking ornamentation. That's it. Sure, I'll take them too. I'll give them to Lucas. Sure. You've desecrated a corpse for shitty silver. That's what you, I was waiting for. That's, that's the frame thing. <laughs> been waiting for it. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to desecrate something. I didn't, correct. It's not my. It's, <laughs> it's not my. Um, Other than that, the circlet seems to allow you to figure out uh, secret doors. Nice. Uh, I'll click the, that, uh, the cartouche and try to get on out of here. Uh, outside in the shaft, in the dark, bleeding, Lucas, you hear a grating sound uh, and a thin beam of light coming from Olas's lantern uh, can be seen and it continues to grow as the tunnel shaft uh, opens again. Oh, it opens Olaf. to two by two. 
Olus, thank God. I but here you've been <laughs> on a job. I just had to like smash 17 skeletons by myself. I was, oh, was I'm so little sorry. Little. Lucas, we, we, we got we got we got we got separated and I couldn't see in the darkness. Here, here's a handful of, of silver rings for you. Thank you. Um, if you if you're having a hard time, you know, carrying in with your gear, we have this convenient like hand that we can use for wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's the desecration, right? There. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> Lucas, go ahead and give me a perception check. Okay, hold on. Uh, hold on. 19 plus 3 is 22. You notice that Olas has uh, got a silver circlet on his head. Oh, what's with the uh, <laughs> crown, Olas? Uh, it's letting me see things that we haven't been able to see before. Uh, we actually can go back and quickly sweep those old rooms, those previous <laughs> rooms that we've been in to see if there's anything we missed. So this actually helped me cool. see the cartouche to let me escape. Uh, well, perception do, check, all loss. Right. What? Perception check. <clears throat> 13. Uh, you noticed that uh, the ladder's not where it was. Hey, yeah. Uh, Thin trickle of blood coming from his forehead. So where's the uh, uh Lucas? Do you need a? Uh, do you need some healing? I'm only down four hit points, but all right. Uh, so it, I, I can't. <clears throat> Where is the ladder? Oh, I uh, I had trouble with that. Uh, when you got okay separated, it was completely dark. That is my fault. Um, all right. Well, probably I your God while you paying you back. What? Probably your God paying you back for desecrating corpses. I apparently am worshiping a terrible God, so it's probably part of the course. <laughs> the ever ready God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, all right. So I'll hold the ladder steady for you, and uh, you go and climb up, and uh, I'll follow you. Okay. I'll do that. If you start like tasting blood and like you know, like if you start getting, I'll let you know. Vision, okay. I'll let you know. Uh, Lucas, now with the illumination in here, you realize that uh, the ladder sunk about two feet. So now you can see the lip. Uh, you also see light up top. Okay, I continue to climb. Uh, you're going to have to grab a hold and pull yourself up to get back onto level sur the level surface. I'll try to do that. Is that a strength check? Yep. I rolled a two, so that's a total of five. Are you struggling up there, Lucas? Yes. No, he is not. He is sliding back down the ladder. Uh, careening right at you, Olas. Give me a dex <laughs> check to avoid getting. I will stuck. try to catch him. Oh, that can't go wrong. Uh, so <laughs> if it's a dex, it's a ten, and if it's a strength, it's a nine. Uh, close enough. Uh, Lucas, you come to a rather abrupt stop, courtesy of Olas holding on to your buttocks region as you oh. slide down the ladder. <laughs> go ahead and. Uh, D20 straight up, Lucas. Let's see if you damage the ladder. Oh, 17. You did not damage the ladder, so you can oh, try it again. Oh, thank God. Okay. Is this another, another strength roll? Yep. 14 this time. Uh, yes. You managed to get up there. One problem. Uh, what do you want to do, Olas? Well, I think first off will be I'm going to just cast a cantrip and cast light on, I don't know, Lucas, are you wearing armor? Yes, I and have chain wearing, mail. I'm going to illuminate it so you can see better. Okay. That'll, illuminate, that'll change, you know, prevent part of the problem. Okay, cool. Um, I'll try to go up first. How about okay. that? Okay. Okay. Lucas, you roll initiative. Oh, fun. What did you do, Lucas? Nine. 12. Uh, for shits and giggles, Olas, go ahead and roll yours as well, please. 
13. Fair enough. Uh, Ola or Lucas, as you stretch and reach up, uh, you manage to pull yourself up, oh, chest on the ground. You look straight ahead. Uh, a, there's illumination in this place. B, there's a pair of boots in front of your face. Are they and you, see, you see a boot kind of rear back and come forward at a very high rate of speed right for your nose. And with a 19, without yes. bonuses, I'm guessing you get kicked in the face. No, I'm I do. How much it. damage do I take? Three hit points of damage. Uh, you make the oomph noise. And it is now your turn. However, you are prone because you just crawled out of the hole. Uh, okay, so I, I probably shouldn't use my great axe. Can I grab the boot and try to take whoever's standing there and knock them prone or on their you back? May, you may try. You may use dexterity <laughs> as a modifier. All right. 16. Uh, yes, you do grab a hold of a boot and give me a strength check to see if you pull them down. All right, that I'm better at. Eight. Nope, you don't pull them down. Uh, perception check, Olas. Wow. <laughs> you don't hear shit upstairs. <laughs> I'm going to climb the ladder, apparently. You begin <laughs> the slow climb. Uh, Lucas, they're going to try and tear their boot out of your hand. Okay. Uh, 15 plus 2, 17. Uh, they pull back and take a few steps back. What do you want to do? Can I, uh, can I rise, rise to a standing position? Yes, you can. Okay, but is that my action? That is normally your action. I will give you an attack at disadvantage. Okay, hold on. I hate that rule. I have action surge. Could I use that? You can use action surge to not be at disadvantage. Okay, cool. I'm going to swing my great axe at whoever this is that kicked me. Sure. Okay. Ten. Nope, not good enough. Uh, this individual is male. Large, give me a perception check. Okay. Nat one. Wow. It's astonishing. <laughs> it uh, is. I've never rolled this. <clears throat> with the rest of your movement, Olas, you were at the top of the ladder, top of the food chain, as it were. Uh, give me your strength check to pull yourself up. 15. Uh, you pull yourself up and you see that your associate Lucas is engaged with an individual uh, wearing a, a leather circus and uh, wielding a short sword. Give me a, a perception check. This is look okay. 11. 11? Yep. Uh, this is a guy from the tavern. Um. Okay, so not a guard. Not a guard. Not a guard. Oh, good. A uh, competitor. His name is Belloc. <laughs> Belloc, there's a shit ton of scorpions and scabs that are kind of flooding this chamber. We have about like uh, like one minute to get out of here before this whole place could be completely overrun. That's why Lucas is like bleeding from the forehead. I had to pour one of them out from trying to dig into his skull. We're all going to die. Deception check. And I will do a counter insight check. I am on seven or one. Uh, which way do you want that to go? Either way. Um, 12 well, is my roll. <laughs> what? 12 is my roll. Oh, okay. Well, then eight is my best. So uh, He does not believe you. Takes aim at Lucas. Uh, and I mean, swings over his head. Okay. My turn. Your turn. Great axe time. 19 plus 5 is 24. That hits. Eight points of damage. <laughs> you got him. 
New round, Olas, you've won initiative. You're up. Oh, I guess he's attacking us. Self defense. Uh, so I like, well, I give you a chance and I'll swing my mace at his face. Uh, so that is a 22. Uh, <laughs> also a little minimum damage. Uh, so three points of uh, budgeting. To the Every little bit helps. Uh, he is going to surge. Uh, he will swing at Lucas first. Uh, with a seven plus five, that ain't going to hit. Uh, nope. Swings at the cleric. Uh, Ten plus five, fifteen. Cleric. Nope. Swings and misses. Uh, Lucas, you're up. A three. I missed. Top of the order, Olas. Uh, so he's, he's so he's wearing uh, a leather cuirass and what else? Uh, short sword. All right. So does he have a, like like? Is it cut low underneath the arms, like like the armpits, like how the cura sits on him? To well, fit, if he just yeah. swung and overextended uh, to swing at Lucas, uh, that's going to leave his axilla open. So I'm going to try to grab the edge of his cura and just fling him in the pit next to me. Sure. So hit and then strength. Uh, so hit then strength. Uh, so the hit right there would be twenty. Strength hit. is twenty. Uh, yeah, Another. you will you will flip him over onto his uh, ass uh, as he does the flip. Nicely done. He will grab a handful of sand. Odd even. I was odd. Trying to throw him in the hole. Oh, now let let me see if I can save on that one. Because I just came at the top of the ladder, I just thought he was close to it. So oh sure, uh, with a four, he's going to go into the hole. All right. Uh, you guys are upright on the main floor. Lucas, you're up. Grab the ladder. Okay. It'll be a strength roll off. So, all right. Strength, Lucas. 14 plus three is 17. 12 plus two is 14. Yeah, you grab the ladder and uh, pull Goodbye. it in angle, uh, and pull it up. Uh, you hear. Shouts and curses. I'll get you, my pretties. Uh, <laughs> you sons of bitches better drop that ladder or I'm dropping you. Mm-hmm. Top of the order, Olaf. Um, so uh, if I can use thaumaturgy to make sounds, like it says, like uh, all kinds of nasty sounds, I'm going to start <clears> feeling <throat> it with the sounds of insect leg skitterings. Cool. And it says they can also make minor trembling, so I'll make the sand uh, also shake under him. Minor. Whew. Uh, one, he firmly believes that he's in deep shit trouble and starts screaming, don't leave me down here to be eaten by bugs. Let me out, you heartless bastards. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to spend another round just intensifying the sounds, and then uh, hey, Lucas, start screaming like bloody murder. Okay, can do. <laughs> oh, it's too late for you, man. I think I think you're toast. Um, I don't know. Uh, we can, we've got the ladder. We can get you out of here. Uh, just tell us where you uh, have hidden all your treasure. <laughs> Nat 20. Uh, give me the ladder. I'll tell you the, where the treasure's at. I don't think you're in a position to bargain. Hey, Lucas, <laughs> start, bre- start breaking the rungs one by one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, who wants to D12 against me? Well, you should, Lucas, because I did it earlier. It's a rite of passage. All right. Hmm. So what, do I need to roll? Yep. Okay, that's a strength check, right? Nope, just a d12. Oh, d12. I'm sorry, I was getting a d20 there. Eight. Uh, Twelve. Uh, you hear sounds behind you guys. What the hell's going on in here? Are they guards? They're guards. Oh, uh, so we I- just detained a man. He was trying to pillage uh, this... Uh, there's this tomb so we got him down here uh he's uh a horrible person so we were just coming yeah, to get he, you. He, 
he 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 was he was trying to desecrate the graves down here. Deception. Look, I'm a, I'm a scholar. <laughs> I've been here studying this, and I've got the books. Uh, he was here, uh, you know, defiling the, the, the tomb of Tidimon the Third, and you know, I rolled I rolled a five. I don't know what Olas rolled. Uh, it's cocked. Ooh, uh, eighteen for deception. Oh, good, Lucas. They do not believe you, but Olas, uh, in his appearance, holding a large book, uh, kind of gives credence to his opinion. Uh, the guards tell you to move up against the wall. Okay, I move. Uh, you the you wall. must you must be gentle with my companion. He is he is a little. Um, I I took a blow to the us. head. I I he took was, a blow to the head. You could see the my, blood he's here. He's my grunt laborer and. You know, I, this was his work release program from the hospital, so please be kind to him. And he lost <laughs> his ankle bracelet. Uh, you hear, help, help, I'm being repressed. You want to be careful. He's released a bunch of ancient insects with his defiling. You can probably see the sounds. D12 against me, Ian. This is where my luck runs out. My one seven. Eight. Your luck does not run out. The guards say, "Give us the ladder." Give them the ladder. I give them the ladder. Uh, they take the ladder. They start moving it down. Their backs are to you, um, and the door is right over there. Yeah, I'd say we need to run. Bravely ran away. Away. Sir Robin's uh, run away. I, I just gonna put a like a little a little wedge under the door so they can still get out, but like it'll slow them down. Right. Sure. Uh, give me a survival check. Fourteen. Yeah, that'll uh, certainly slow them down as you slink off into the darkness. Uh, not quite the heroism I expected tonight. <laughs> heroism? You set us up to do great robins. <laughs> you know, there, there could have been something, you know, important in the other one, but uh, mm -hmm. I thought it went well. We'll go ahead and end it here. Uh, you guys can run back to the tavern. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, you know what? Uh, shits and giggles. Uh, Lucas, D12 against me. Okay, sure. Your backpack is actually full of scarabs. Ha! <laughs> I rolled a six. I rolled a nine. Uh, that guy did get a good enough look at you, especially oh, when boy. he was kicking Lucas in the face. You guys will beat that man again in the future. <laughs> oh, cool. Once he gets out of jail. <laughs> and he gets out of his back cast. <laughs> he, will, he will have been doing the, the back pull-ups and have uh, <laughs> Fortunus uh, etched across, <laughs> tattooed onto his back. You will see him again. Uh, however, uh, no script, so you didn't have to follow it, but not what I expected at all. Uh, John, what would you think? I had a great time. I I'm hoping to do these again. Now, do, how, how often do you do these? Every other week. Cool. <laughs> every other week so folks at home if you ever want to be in one just hit us up uh opposite weeks are campaign weeks so there you go ian what'd you think i apologize for rolling so poorly and to lead us into the wrong tomb I'm curious <laughs> that so thanks for rolling with that uh because uh I yeah I, uh, i'm a dingus well the no i uh, i was rolling pretty shitty myself but at, at times we kept rolling the same number or at least the re same result a couple times at the same yeah. time. Yeah. So that was real. That was real bizarre. It uh, was. The worst roles tend to give the best stories. So Absolutely. this is true. No, no apologies necessary. We had a good time with that. Uh, folks at home, we hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, don't forget, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D&D. Join our Discord if you want to be on a one shot or on the Tuesday talk show. M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. Hit us up. We will get you on there. Uh, don't forget if you need more dice and who doesn't, uh, at Pirate Dog Dice over on Twitter. If your game stinks and you want to make it smell like an old tomb, 
one of the 60 cents, by the way. Uh, check out oddfishgames.com, also the maker of the Shine system to write gooder than me. Uh, also, uh, we have a plethora of items uh, with several logos on them, including the Murder Hobocon logos, which will be going on February 12th and February 13th. Sign up for badges is live. Sign up for events is still live. So it's a two-day event. So if you're interested, go over to murderhobocon.com. Uh, there's also a link on there to the tabletop.events page. You can check us out there. I think we're still middle of page two, but time is creeping up. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thanks for joining us. We do have the Margu campaign tomorrow after an almost two-month hiatus. Uh, so if you've missed them, here they come. If you haven't missed them, Eh, they won't take it personally. Uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, we appreciate your time. Let's give them a big old kiss and wave, boys. Mm. Yeah, Bye. We have an art contest at the con. So if you'd like to enter an art, there is art uh, on the front page of our tabletops event. You can find out how you can enter in for some cash prizes. And we have three fantastic celebrity guest judges that we love. So without eating up more of your time, check out those details. Good ad. Good ad on that one. Folks. Later. Bye. Bye.